Hey everybody, we uh, just did this and now we're going to add the pair cam, take some measurements. So if you've done this, we're going to make life a little bit easier by turning on the visibility to the follower here. Where's visibility? There it is. Shortcut is Alt V. And then the pair cam and the guide. All right. I'm going to turn off that angle relationship that we were working with. And I'm just gonna see if the cam's not working. So we might have to redo, oh, there it goes. Maybe it was just glitching. So we're gonna have to fix this follower. But in the meantime, let's rotate this around. And I'm gonna right click on this corner and I'm gonna make this current view my home. And I'm gonna click on the ruler because we wanna start measuring the pair cam. So by clicking on the ruler, it highlights the ruler here in the corner. And I want to take off that flush because I want to re remove it. I'm going to delete it. And I want to bring this forward and put it flush with our pair cam here. So I click constraint. I click mate. I click flush. I'm going to do the front of this ruler and the front of this pair cam. I'm going to hit apply. All right. So the pair cam, or I'm sorry, the ruler still has the first mate that we did from the back here to the edge and it's offset. It still has the mate from the bottom to the bottom of the ruler. And now we just added that flush so that all we're measuring is the pair cam. It looks like on the pair cam. So when I spin this, when I spin this, it is not working, so we need to fix that. I'm gonna click on pair cam, and that's our transitional constraint. And just delete that for now. There we go. Lift it up. So I'm gonna hit constraint, and I'm gonna hit transitional. I want to click on the bottom of the follower, and I want to click on that rounded edge. There we go, it works. Hit apply. All right, so now we want to find where it's at its lowest point. So you can see the follower goes up and down, and so this will be the lowest point. We're going to take some measurements there. And to kind of set that up, we're going to hit constraint. We're going to go to angle. We're going to go to single angle, and we're going to do this the same way we just did the eccentric. So I'm going to click on uh, the single angle, the back of this. I'm going to click on the face of that and hit apply. And we can kind of zoom in, and we can look at the measurement there. And so we'll get our notebooks out, and we'll say that the lowest edge right there, what do you guys, what's that at? So be one point. 1.25. So we put 1.25. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to that relationship so that we just made that angle. And we have to change that degrees to how many? Every what? Every 45. Good job, guys. So we're going to go 45. And did it change at all? No, so at 45 degrees, we're still at 1.25. All right, then we're gonna change it from 45 to 90. Did it change again? Still? All right. Then we're gonna, we can click on that constraint. We can come down here and change it to 135. And now it's starting to go up a little bit. And see we're at one and one eighth, two eighths, one and three eighths right there. You guys good with that? Click on that again, change that to 180. Whoops, I missed. Oh no, the constraint broke. So if your follower breaks off of there, we are going to have to 
uh, just add that back on. I'm going to hit delete there. Bring this up. And you can actually see, even if it's not connected, you can see that you are at two and what fraction. All right, so we're going to want to add that transition again. All right, so we're going to write that down. And now we're going to figure out the way back down. So we're going to click on transition after 180. The next video will show you how to add the hex cam and the snail cam.